been out all night. He's been introducing people. He did a creation. Now he's going to come back and do a short biography of Dr. Hugh P. Newton. Please welcome again, J. Scott Walker. Huey Percy Newton was born in Monroe, Louisiana, February 17, 1942, the youngest of seven children of the Baptist ministry. He was named for populist slain governor, Huey Long. The family moved to Oakland, California, when Huey, Huey, was still a child. He had his education in the Oakland school system, and he once himself said that when he graduated from Oakland Technical High School in 1959, he could neither read nor write. He himself educated himself, reading the works of such authors as W. B. Du Bois, Langston Hughes, and Malcolm X. In 1966, while working at the old North Oakland Neighborhood Poverty Program, Newton and longtime friend Bobby Seal founded what they first called the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense. They were influenced, they said, by a book called Negroes with Guns, written by an NAACP organizer from North Carolina, and the Black Panther symbol they used was already being used by the Alabama Freedom Committee. The Panthers slowly transformed themselves into a grassroots organization of demonstrated political skill. Newton's philosophy included a 10-point program that called for land, bread, housing, education, clothing, justice, peace, and people's community control. His philosophy stuck a positive chord with the people in some of Oakland's poorest neighborhoods. Newton also had plans for a survival program pending the revolution to include a private school in East Oakland and free breakfast for poor children. Newton first met, met Bobby Seale when they were both students at Mary College in Oakland, California, where he earned an Associate of Arts degree before enrolling for a few months at San Francisco Law School. In 1981, when he was 30 year, 38 years old, he was granted a doctorate of philosophy degree from UC Santa Cruz. His dissertation was entitled, War Against the Panthers, A Study of Depression in America. Many people, including Chinese Premier Chow and noted behaviorologist Eric Erickson, with whom Newton had many conferences and debates, called Newton one of the most intellectual people of our time. Early Tuesday morning, August 22nd, 1989, Hugh Newton was shot down on the streets of North Oakland. The police say it was drug related, and as usual, the investigation was done in secret, concluded, and swept under the rug. Hugh Newton may be gone now. But his philosophies still remain revolutionary and landmark. His ideals of power and taking firm control of one's own destiny still lives on in the hearts and souls of many people of color today. And it definitely doesn't mind. 